Hello and welcome to 7 Minute Guitar. Also check us out on facebook.com slash 7 Minute Guitar for the resources that are used in these videos. So today on 7 Minute Guitar we're going to talk about diminished seventh chords. Yesterday we talked about the diminished triad which was the root, the minor third, and a flatted fifth. Today we're going to take that and we're going to add a minor seventh. Closer and more detailed photos will be posted at facebook.com slash 7minuteguitar. So the first fingering position has us take our index finger and place it right here at the first fret across these four strings. Our middle finger here on the third string, uh, second fret, and our pinky finger on the first string, third fret. Um, depending on how comfortable, you could possibly use also the ring finger here at the third string, second fret. And it tells us to play just these four strings. So right here at the top of the neck of the guitar, if you were to play all five strings, in this position that would be okay. That would still be your A half diminished seventh chord. But as you work your way up the neck, because this is a movable, then here, B flat, B, C, all these half diminished seventh chords, um, all the way up the neck until you're once again past the twelfth fret and at your A half diminished seventh chord. Let's look at another way to make this chord. So from this position that we're in, we take our middle finger, put it here on the second string, first fret, index finger on the fourth string, first fret, and ring finger on the third th string, second fret. It's like the same form as a D chord, but just up here. And then it tells us to take our pinky and put it way up here on this top string in the G note and play. So from that note, um, that's the A half diminished seventh chord. If we bar again, put our third finger here on the third string, third fret, and our second finger here on the first string, second fret, and play only those four notes. We're now playing the C half diminished seventh chord. And if we work our way up, again, this is a movable chord. So another movable half diminished seventh chord starts with the C sharp half diminished seventh by placing your two fingers here at the E minor location and your fourth finger, your pinky finger here on the second string, second fret. Playing just these four strings only makes the C sharp half diminished seventh chord. And to make it movable, take your index finger and pretend it's here, slide it up, and here you're starting to get movable now. Another way of making the C sharp half diminished seventh chord and also making it move movable um, shows to start with your index finger here on the fourth string second fret and your ring finger on the fourth fret fifth string and play all five strings. Now since you're already familiar with how to make a C chord, I say make the C chord but instead of playing this note here, put your pinky finger to play a C sharp and raise up your index finger. And that already puts you in position for making it a movable chord. Slide up and bar all the rest of the strings here. Slide up. That was a D. Here's a D sharp. Here is a E. As you can tell, with the way the fingering is on this, you really have to practice and really build up your finger strength. If you're not used to playing these chords, it 
takes a little bit of effort to get all those strings down without any buzz. Now we're going to finish up movable half diminished seventh chords with an easy one. Um, this one is probably my favorite. You take your index finger, clamp it down right here on the first fret, the first three strings, and play. And that is a D half diminished seventh chord. Now, if we want to slide this up, switch to your ring finger, use it to bar all the notes, and use your index finger to hold that. And this right here will be a D sharp. Slide up. That's an E. Slide up. Here's an F. Also, the bass note is important as well. If we use this fingering and add our middle finger up here on the top string, here is my F sharp, part of my D sharp half diminished seventh, and also let your finger rest on this string. It's going to deaden the A string. Now you can just play the whole chord with a single downstroke. Slide up. It's one of the easiest half diminished seventh chords to play. So I hope this video and yesterday's video opens up the world of diminished chords for you. Please thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out facebook.com slash 7minuteguitar for the photos used in this lesson.